and welcome back for another not too shabby shop design team project today i'm bringing you this unisex birthday card featuring the pig time fun stamp set that was part of the june mft release unfortunately this has sold out both at mft and the not too shabby shop so i will link to my favorite things and you can put yourself on the waiting list if you would like to receive this adorable or purchase i should say this adorable stamp set i saw a instagram post from alberto and i'm going to link his channel or his youtube account in the description box below i'm sure you've seen his coloring he is just an amazing colorist he oftentimes for my favorite things does short little videos he also does um, some keys where he shows how he colored something so for these pigs he showed three different ways how he colored them and what I did is I went with the darkest most highest contract for contrast version that he had and I followed it I could just see where the shadows were i was able to see where the highlights were i know how to use copic markers so i knew that i was going to go from dark to light my darkest color as you can see where the pig's head is rounding i started by laying down some of that color which was an e17 and then i also blended it out with an e15 again with an e13 finally the highlight in the center of the face was with an e11 now i went back over it a second time you can see that i really have a high contrast going on here i've added more depth to the cheeks making sure that they're a little bit darker and then i used my e 13 to blend that out just a little bit i'll color the bottom of the pig the same way for the shadowing when you when i started my coloring i did not go all the way up against the line so i did stamp my images using some memento tuxedo black ink and i am using copic express it paper but i rounded the pig's face i used the darkest color which was that e17 around the um, inside edge of the face making sure that I had space between the stamped line and the curve that I put down with my darkest marker and then I blended back with my E15 so I hope that makes a little bit of sense I'm not going to color everything for you I'm just coloring up this one little pig I use some neutral colors for his hooves and then I'm going to use some YR markers for the um, little inner tube. And I'm going to do the same thing with that curve. I'm going to add a little bit of roundness to that inner tube by adding my darkest color first. And you're going to see right here, I did not go all the way to the stamped line. I'm slightly above it. And that's going to help add just a little bit more curve to this image. I did want to talk about the stamp set. It comes with three little pigs. There is a lighthouse. There's some sentiments and accessories that go along with this. The release was absolutely adorable. So if you like the stamp set, as I mentioned, you can put yourself on the waiting list and it will come back in stock. Here's a look at my black gel pen. I added it to the eyes and then I accidentally added a dot to the cheek cheek and right there I was just I waited for it to dry just a little bit and then I used the end of a pin and I just scraped it off and then I went back over it with my white gel pen I added the centers to the eyes I added some highlights and some freckles and I did the same thing to the sail ship to the sailboat I keep wanting to call it a sail ship to the sailboat and also to the other pig which I colored off camera. And I love what that white gel pen does. You can see that I did have a couple of the hats that I colored up and I also am gonna color up a couple birds off camera. Here is, um, I used a penny black stamp or a penny black die. It's a distressed edge slimline die. And then it comes with a second piece which will um, cut out the holes 
So I used those two pieces together to make sure that I had that distressed edge and I cut out the holes. And then I used this same coordinating paper. So this is an older paper pack from Bow Bunny. It was a 12 by 12 pack. I've probably had this for 10 years. And that's one of the things that I love about slimline dies and cards is that I'm able to use some of that scrapbook paper that I may not necessarily use for scrapbooking anymore, but I can still use it to create my cards. I added some dimension to the back of the panel. Now this paper is thinner than cardstock that I typically use, so I was very careful making sure that I got it on there nice and gently because if you stretch it too far then you're going to kind of have a bend in your paper so I made sure that it was going to lay really flat and then I'm going to add a little bit of jute around the sides I know I'm going to place my sail ship my sailboat oh my goodness my sailboat to the center of that circle so that circle is going to be covered so I'm just adding a little bit of washi tape to the back of that and then I'll remove my release paper and I'm going to center it onto an eight and a half by three and a half inch card base. I've added foam tape to the back of my sailboat, both at the top and the bottom. I made sure that the center of it didn't have any foam tape so that it could go around that twine nicely. And then I'm going to glue this one pig with some wet glue to the top of that sailboat. And I've added foam tape to the other two pigs, making sure that they are going to have the same dimension as the sailboat's going to have. And I like the way that this paper really coordinated well. Obviously, it's nautical themed. I created this right before... Um, well, a little bit before the 4th of July, so I've had this queued for quite some time, and I just had the stars on my mind, the red, white, and blue, and I think that the color combination is just perfect for a summertime birthday card. We are going to be having a stamp and die of the month hop on the 7th. If you missed the hop on the 1st for the box of the month, please make sure that uh, you enter for a chance to win a $25 gift card to the Not Too Shabby Shop by hopping along and leaving comments along the way. The stamp and die of the month is absolutely adorable, so I'm sure that you are going to be inspired by that hop as well. I did trim that twine, so what I did is I took a piece of twine I folded it in half and then I tied a knot where the fold was I went ahead and cut that then I trimmed it down I am going to use some off camera I used that hot glue gun to glue the ends so that that jute twine didn't fray for the brad, it came from the same Bow Bunny collection as the paper, so all I did was cut off the brad part of the button, and then I hot glued it to the knot on my little jute piece. And I just think that that really adds to the nautical theme. Here are the hats, so I colored the two hats that are available and I'm gonna place them on the bottom two pigs. I'm also going to add those little seagulls. I'll add one to the top, and again, I'm going to add just a little bit of foam tape to the back of that to give it the same dimension as all of my other images. I'll use the sentiment from the stamp set that says, let's celebrate together, S-A-I-L. Again, sticking with that nautical theme. And there's one of those seagulls. The bottom, I, I was, you're going to see here in just a moment that I struggled with where I wanted to put my sentiment because when I placed my underlying piece of pattern paper, the bottom circle actually has a steering wheel for a ship, so a ship's wheel, as you can see. And I really didn't want to cover that up, but unfortunately, 
the bottom side the bottom right side of this card is the perfect placement for my sentiment so I did have to color cover that up and I kind of lost a little bit of that um, wheel you can't really tell what it is but the colors look nice together here is where I'm stamping my sentiment. I am going to use my Versamark Black Onyx e Versafine Black Onyx ink. That always gives me a nice crisp image. It does stay wet a little bit longer, so you do need to be a little bit careful when you're handling it if you don't let it sit and dry. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. If you like this video, I would absolutely love for you to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Let me know. Do you ever follow Alberto and try to mimic some of his coloring? Even if you're just looking for color combinations, he really does have a great eye for color and Copic markers. So he's a great person to follow for just a little bit of inspiration as you go on your Copic marker journey. Here's a look at the dimension on the card. Card. I'll show you one final look and that is the end of my video for today. Thanks so much for watching and until next time I hope you have a fabulous day.